Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Welcome back to Vlogmas. For today, I thought that I would just show you my mug collection. <laughs> Is that weird? My festive mug collection. I counted this year and I have 14. I haven't bought any more this year, I don't think. Um, because I feel like I do kind of have enough. So it's more of the case of only if I saw one that I absolutely loved would I buy it. Um, and I just thought, I've got 14. And I may as well show you them and tell you like the best places that I've bought mugs from. So then if you have, I don't know, a similar style to me or you like similar Christmas vibes to me, then you might find this helpful. If you just like knowing what people have got and where they've got things from and seeing their collections of festive things, then this is a good video for you. Excuse my letter board that has uh, letters missing, they fall off. Um, and sometimes I can't bother to pick them back up and put them back on the port. <laughs> Some of the mugs are dirty because I haven't done the washing up yet, um, but I think I'll start with my favourite ones first. Okay, this one's dirty, but this one is my absolute favourite Christmas mug. This is by Gav Kidston, and this is part of her Christmas range last year. I've just noticed I've got a chip on the handle, oh my goodness. Um, this is from my Christmas range last year. I look, have looked for like the last couple of Christmases and I think about two years ago her Christmas range was like hamsters and stuff like that and it, I just wasn't into it but I really like this vibe. So this is like a Christmas village and they've all got Christmas lights on, beautiful, excuse it's dirty inside but there's also like Father Christmas on his sleigh with some reindeer, super cute. Um, there were a couple more in this range, but I bought this one for myself last year. I think it's beautiful. My favourite. <laughs> my second favourite is probably this one. Again, I feel like this is like an understated, not like in your face Christmas mug. This is from Starbucks, like, maybe like three or four years ago, to be fair. Maybe even longer than that. Um, I... It was the year that I watched a play with my mum and my sister and we went to Starbucks afterwards um, and I saw this range and I was like, this is a beautiful range. I love how it's like pink. I love pink and white. I seem to go for pink and white a lot in, with, with my mugs like in general, not like my festive ones. Pink and white seems to like, I don't know, appeal to me a lot. <laughs> but anyway, this is what it looks like and it's just got like lights, stars, baubles, all round it. Um, I told my mum about this. It's also got a light in there. I told my mum about this and she bought it for me for Christmas that year. This one is another favourite of mine. This is from Sainsbury's last year. This year their Christmas print I think is actually very similar. So this one likes people in hats and jumpers and stuff and they're going towards the tree. I feel like this year it's people walking around a Christmas village, but it's really like the same kind of vibe. Maybe even this same mug is out this year. Now I'm thinking, did I get it this year? But no, I think I got it last year. Um, I, in general, I like a big mug. However, these are really good for when you make like an espresso coffee or something because they don't feel necessarily a huge mug unless you keep pressing it. Um, but I really like this. I like how it's got like the yellow stripe on the handle and that's what it looks like, nothing inside. Um, but yeah, I think it's a really, really cute print. And so if you like the vibe of this, go look in Sainsbury's. They've got things like this on mugs, on plates, on sharing like platter dishes and stuff like that, like a really good range. <laughs> this is a great one. I feel like this is a really cute one. Also, it's like a really good size. This is from Asda and it's just got a snowman, Father Christmas and Penguin. It's got the same print on the other side, but it's dirty. So it's got my lipstick on it. <laughs> this is from Asda last year or maybe the year before. Um, and I just feel like it's a really good size for a coffee, but also it's cute. I like, I was having this conversation with my cousin Charlie actually. My cousin Charlie's really into like the vintage vibe of Christmas and the old school Father Christmases. And um, I'm more into the cutesy Christmas, I think, like the cartoon kind of Christmas. Um, yeah, so it's interesting, isn't it? But yeah, so I really like that. These two, I feel like, are from the same place, but neither of them say where they're from. They just say that they're dishwasher and microwave safe, which is, like, annoying. Um, but uh, I don't think they would have been from a supermarket. If you've got these mugs, let me know. <laughs> I feel like I've bought most of my Christmas mugs from 
Home Sense slash TK Maxx. Um, but these don't really fit their vibes necessarily. Um, Asda, The Range, Dunelm, Home Bargains and B&M. So they're probably from one of those shops. And um, even if you're not necessarily looking for these ones in particular, those shops are really good for selling Christmassy mugs. Like they're really good. Anyway, <laughs> um, I really like these. Again, I feel like they're good sizes. I like this penguin one because the back of it has the back of the penguin, which I think is really cute. Whereas this Christmas, Father Christmas one, just has the same print on either side, I think. Oh, on this side he's like got his arm up, but on this side he hasn't. I never noticed that before. Um, but yeah, I really like these. This mug is from Dunelm and actually says Dunelm on the bottom. So potentially those two aren't from Dunelm. I loved this mug when I first bought it. It's a giant Father Christmas. It's so in your face. It's ridiculous. Like everyone knows that you're Christmassy when you're drinking out of this. <laughs> this is a great one for like the Zoom Christmas party or something. Anyway, <laughs> um, I love it. It's also like 3D and like, his nose sticks out and you can feel his tash and things like that. My only issue with this is it started um, cracking or like having little hairline cracks from like the first use um, and I just worry that the more I use it the more it's going to keep cracking and then it's going to eventually break. Um, so I'm like disappointed and sad about that but I really like the outside of the mug so if this gets to a point where it cracks then I will be in the market for a huge Father Christmas mug. <laughs> but done out. This is one of my favourites. This was from a local garden centre. And I have to say, if you want Christmassy stuff, go to a garden centre. Um, in this particular garden centre I went to last year, two years ago, um, I got a Christmas tree, like a one for my bedside table, for £2.49, whereas if you're buying them online, you're looking at like £10 really, um, £2.49. This mug was £1.49, £1.99, so cheap. <laughs> um, I like it again, it's a cartoon for the Christmas that says ho ho ho, and it was so cheap I had to buy it. Um, it's a bit bigger than like the Sainsbury's one, however, like so I wouldn't mind drinking my normal coffee from here, but also great for Nespresso kind of coffee machine size mugs. So yeah, I think this is lovely and it was so cheap. I really recommend going to your garden centers. This one I love because it's so different from my other ones, but I have no idea where it's from. At the bottom it says Roy Kirkham. Can you see that? Um, I feel like I got this as a present maybe from my mum. I don't know. I feel like it might be like a home bargains one. I think. I can't I can't be certain though. What I love about it, what I, one thing I love about it is it's got the little designs all down the handle. I think that's so cute. It's such a nice little touch. So it's got uh Rudolph, a snowman, and Father Christmas. All cartoony, but they look like they've been drawn. And yeah. Just so cute. And the shape of this mug is so like unique. It like comes out at the top and it's like a short fat mug rather than like a tall one or, you know, a typical like small one that you get. I really like this and this fits a good amount of coffee in. So, <laughs> but yeah, this is one of my favorites. I also have this one, which weighs quite a bit. Like it feels quite heavy, which I never noticed before, but after just picking up loads of mugs in a row, I was like, oh, this is quite heavy. This one, I believe came in a boots set um, and I probably asked for it for Christmas from my mum. Normally boots are quite good at having a nice Christmassy mug that comes with like hot chocolate and marshmallows and things um, and yeah I really like it. It's like a Christmas scene with Father Christmas and his reindeer flying over the houses. Very cute and again it's a nice size but this is from boots so if you're looking for like a little set with hot chocolate marshmallows and things have a look in boots because they do really nice festive Christmassy mugs. Now we're on to like my last few, um, my last four, which I don't really use that much. So this one I got given um, actually as a present last year. My Nanny Jill got this for me from Tesco. Was it from Nanny Jill? Yes. Um, looks like this. It's very sweet. It's in this kind of shape, which 
makes it hard to stack which is annoying um but again i'd use it for nespresso capsules i just haven't been drinking much nespresso this year and i only got this last year like um i think i saw my nan a couple of days after christmas so i haven't really had much opportunity to use it um but yeah and she also gave it to me with like a matching plate i'll find it for you hold on how cute is that Imagine having like, I don't know, some pastry or mince pies on here with your coffee. I think that's so cute. I love that. This one, I can't show you the side of it because it gives my sister's name and her old school um, details. But um, this is one of those, you know, when your kid like draws a picture. They um, gave it to me maybe last year or the year before. She designed this picture um, and I got given it as a present on a mug and then also on a tea towel as well. And I feel like it's lovely. And so I don't want to use it very much because I don't want it to crack or break or anything. So I really like don't really use this one. And then I've got my last two. Um, this one is just honestly so beautiful. Um, my cousin Charlotte got this for me a few years ago now. It came with a teapot, which is in my cupboard for loose leaf tea, like a strainer that like fits on here like perfectly and then this little mug but this is all about the um 12 days of christmas i feel like it's from laura ashley oh so there's a partridge in a pear tree two turtle doves three french hens four calling birds five gold rings six geese are laying seven swans are swimming there's only one swan there maids are milking ladies dancing lords are leaping Drummer's drumming. Eight. Maze are milking. Nine. Ladies dancing. Ten. Laws are leaping. Eleven. Piper's piping. Drummer's drumming. Yes. How beautiful is that? I personally don't use this very much. Literally, when I like a tea, I do actually like it in a smaller mug. Um, I want to use this with the teapot, however, I don't have any loose leaf tea, so I need to go and get some loose leaf tea, I think. But um, I think this is just beautiful, it's so beautiful. And then the last mug, I think, came in a set. I feel like I got this in my Christmas Eve box last year. I think it came in a set because on the back it says Happy Crunchmas and has these um, biscuits on. You know, those Cadbury's ones with the gooey middle. And I definitely got them in my Christmas Eve box, so I feel like I just got the whole set. Um, and yes, yeah, so it's a Cadbury's mug. It's got a uh, reindeer on and when you drink it, you look like you're a reindeer. I just don't use this one very much. I feel like because I tend to gravitate to other like bigger ones that I don't really use this one very much. Um, but yeah, I do quite like it, but um, there we go. <laughs> so there we go. They are all of my Christmas mugs that I have at the moment in my Christmas mug collection. I do feel like I've got a lot. Um, and then um, I'm never like running out of mugs. I've never got like loads of waiting for the washing up so then I like run out. I've always got mugs in the cupboard waiting to be used. Um, I mean, I love Christmassy stuff. So ideally I'd love some more, like bigger ones, um, but I don't need them. But um, yeah, I just love a Christmas, I love a festive anything really. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little video of me just showing you my mug collection. Um, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Um, let me know actually where, if you've seen any this year that you really love the pattern of, I would love to know. I like the idea of having more Kath Kidston ones. Yeah, let me know where you've got like your favourite Christmas mug from and if you're a Christmas mug collector as well. <laughs> um, but thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow in my next video. Bye!